Hey folks, J Love 47 here. There's something that I want to talk about that really baffles me. How do respectful dudes? I try to mentally put myself in your shoes. Just to get a better understanding of your actions and behaviors because some things just don't make sense it really fucking don't mm -hmm. I'm trying to understand how and why do how to resect you males how do they walk around with that pants sagging all the way off their ass. How do you do it? Why would you even want to do that? Because my whole thing is. Women. While women do. Appreciate. A nice muscular. Ass on a man. You know. This is actually one of the reasons that some women watch football. They love to see those muscular, <laughs> you know, ass cakes on those football players. <laughs> That's some of y'all women. Y'all love that shit. Don't even motherfucking lie. Because I got women in my family already told me how much they appreciate a football player's ass. They love that shit. Shit. But Funny shit. women never... Revered the ass and appreciated the ass the way obviously men do. So I can understand a woman walking around showing her fat cakes, you know what I mean? Showing all that junk in the trunk, or should I say, all that funk in the trunk? Because some of y'all booties be funky. <laughs> <laughs> Funk in the trunk. Funk. I can understand a woman wanting to show off that part of her body because that's one of the main things that men love, especially black men. Black men love a big ass. I like big books and again not loud. I can understand them wanting to show that part of their physique and their breasts. Those are the two parts of a woman's body that most men universally appreciate and love. Some men like the eyes and you know, women's smile and all that. But the butt is something that a lot of men love. And so it makes sense for them to show that. But you men, why are you showing your ass cakes? And then what, what baffles me is that a lot of times, you heterosexuals are so homophobic. Not all straight men are, but a lot, most straight men, if they're not homophobic or homo haters, since y'all hate the word phobic, because y'all think it implies fear, which it does, but I'm not going to dive into that too much. If you don't like the word homophobic, I say homo haters. Many of y'all are just not really comfortable around gay men. You don't really respect gay men. And so, you know, why would you do something that would attract the very group of men that you have a disdain for? Because you know, women ain't looking at, most women think that shit is nasty and disgusting. Most women are more concerned with the motherfucking prints. That's what they want to say. They want to know if you got some motherfucking money. They looking at your swagger. A woman could care less really about a, a ass. Like I said, a ass is not as important for a woman as it is for a man. So what are you flaunting it for? And I, I, one time I was in Danny's, was it? No, I don't think I was in Danny's Wap. The Chinese store in Philly. I was somewhere. Can't think of it, aunt. And me and the lady was talking about this guy after he left out. And we was talking to the gay guy. He was a real femme gay guy, whatever. And I don't really think the gay guy was even looking. I think the heterosexual guy was just paranoid. Mm -hmm. But he's like, don't be looking at my fucking ass. The fuck you look? And it's like, you got it. You, you just playing this shit. 
Right. The shit all motherfucking you know. big and shit like you know when you know you know um, even even some straight guys be looking like God darn like you know even though they straight they fight say God damn dude got ass like a woman. <laughs> I forgot that that uh, running back that used to play. Running back used to play for the Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons his name was I know his last name was Turner, but I don't know if it was Michael Turner or Malcolm Turner. Even NFL players was like Malcolm Turner, yo, he he got be <laughs> But you displaying the shit like a motherfucking uh uh monument or something. Like you selling the shit, what are you showing your ass for if you don't want niggas to look? Right. Because when you show it, it's gonna be women and it's gonna be men and women that's gonna see it. Yeah. Anybody with eyes that has vision. It's gonna see your motherfucking ass. Right. <laughs> so my whole thing is I really just don't see the mindset behind having your pants there. Like what's cute about that? Like what's what's fly about that? And, and 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 why do you desire to have your pants down? Like, do it feel good? And the shit that be fucking me up is y'all can barely even walk. Y'all have a belt on, but your pants are sagging. What's the point of the belt? The belt is to keep your pants up on your ass. They got the belt like tight, right below the cuffs of that cuffs of that ass. I don't understand why you wearing the belt if your pants are sagging. Mm -hmm. And then I see them. They walk like this, like they can barely walk. That legs all spread it apart. They can barely walk because, you know, they trying to keep up their pants while they walking. Like, that makes no sense. Why not just pull your pants up and, and tighten your belt? You won't have to walk like this. Like, you're trying to keep your pants from, walk from falling. Like motherfuckers ride horses all day. <laughs> like. <sighs> yeah. You have a right to dress however you want to dress. Do whatever makes you happy. I'm just saying I don't understand the 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 like mindset behind it. Like why as a straight man do I want like I don't want my ass hanging out? Niggas gonna be looking. But the boy got mad because he thought just paranoid, insecure, not confident in his skin. He thought that the gay guy was looking at his ass. What do you think a gay guy is gonna do? He's gay! <laughs> Gay men like men. That's why they're called gay men. A duh. <laughs> kind of remind me of some of those women where y'all dress all explicit and sexy. You know, y'all dress all whorish and shit. Maybe I shouldn't call it whorish dressing, but that's the way y'all dress. Just so explicit. Like y'all down for the fuck. And then when a man look at y'all. Why all these niggas looking at me? I don't understand. God, I go in the Chinese store, all these niggas looking at me like I'm a piece of meat. Uh, what do you think men are going to do? Men are men. <laughs> Unfortunately, as human beings, we have hormones. And we're sexually attracted to one another. So we're going to look and we see a sexy human being walking in a block with big titties and big ass. You're going to look. Mm -hmm. What did you expect? She dressed the part and get mad at the results. <laughs> So it makes no sense. I don't see how sagging your pants can be a fashion trend. And we all know where that came from. It came, it originated in jail. You know. There was a way for the homosexuals to let the men know that they want some dick. Long dick style. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tyrone, and I'ma fuck your wife, long dick style. Oh, that shit. I forgot all about that, yo. Oh shit. I forgot all about that, yo. That shit was too funny. He's going up to everybody, just going to random niggas. All throughout Jersey mm -hmm. and uh, in Kensington. Philly, Kensington, all that. Mm -hmm. He live up your end, north. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just makes shit. no sense. It make it makes no sense, fellas. And for, for some of y'all, some of y'all don't even have a motherfucking ass to even show. Y'all shit flat as a motherfucking countertop. Ain't nothing back there like a motherfucking washboard. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> an iron table. Flat. Flat as a motherfucking Asian pancake. Damn. And you got the nerve. To be sitting there showing your motherfucking funky ass like somebody wants to see that. 
And the least if you're going to do it, make sure your motherfucking drawers are clean. Because I got good vision. And I'll be seeing the motherfucking doo-doo shrieks in your motherfucking funky ass drawers. <laughs> That's what the fuck I'll be seeing. Yeah, trending fashion, yeah. It is trending fashion. The fashion to show motherfuckers just how funky and dirty you are. And you wondering why you ain't getting no motherfucking pussy because they know you got terrible ass hygiene with them doo-doo shrieks and your motherfucking underwear. Fruit of the loom, bitch. Fruit of the loom. And Hanes. Mm. I just did a little promotion for y'all. Where's my money? <laughs> oh, shit. Man. It makes no sense, guys. I'm not trying to control you. They was going to uh, implement a policy. Prohibiting men in Philly from flashing their ass. Well, some of y'all, y'all flashing passes like a bus pass. That's what the fuck it looked like. A pass, flat as a pass. <laughs> but if y'all want to at least have your pants sagging, at least make sure the motherfucking shit is clean. Some of y'all got some big butts. Y'all had underwear stuck all up the crease. You can see the whole, the whole print and shape of the ass. And then you know you got gay niggas out here. You know they go. What are y'all thinking? Don't y'all know what's it? I guess y'all okay with the gay niggas there. Oh, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe you don't have a problem with the gay niggas seeing your ass. I just think it's silly, guys. I, I just don't see how what's cool about that. I don't see. At least from a straight man perspective, why would you even want to advertise your ass? I, I just don't, I don't get that. Yeah, that, that shit don't make no sense. It just makes no sense to me, knowing that there's men out there, like, even if a man is not straight, like, why so would you... So that's just saying, like, you just do things without thinking. You just, like, just, I don't Put know. absolutely no thought into what yeah, you don't. Right. But I then mean, you complain about people... Why not, looking. why not take a saucepan, instead of putting a fitted on, take a saucepan and go outside and wear that. Yeah, put a saucepan on your head. Mm-hmm. A motherfucking uh, crock pot. <laughs> Put that on your head and wear like a motherfucking <laughs> Dr. Seuss like ass. Johnny motherfucking Appleseed. Yeah. Walking like you Johnny the Appleseed or motherfucking Dr. And Seuss. And then walking down the street looking like Johnny Apple Bottom. Yeah. Looking like you At about the to, same time with your shit hanging down low. Looking like you about to cook some motherfucking Caribbean All because, beef all because stew. you just feel like it's, it's just... Because you it's, think it's that shit is fly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Walking so around like just you like you get mad at somebody who will call you a, a weirdo for wearing a saucepan on your head? Yup. Yup. Put yep. that motherfucking pot on your head. <laughs> and walk around like you about to make some motherfucking curry Caribbean beef stew. They ain't gotta say much. Say much. All you gotta do is walk past and look at you. We already know you about to cook up a motherfucking meal mm -hmm. for your kids. If you even in their life. If you are even in their life. <laughs> we don't have much more to say. Mm -mm -mm. Just simply put, uh, it makes it makes little to no sense. Why as a man, you want to walk around like that? I mean, you got old people out here, but I guess you don't fuck the old people. I can't live for them, right? Got children out here. And I'll I tell you one thing I hate. One time I was on a trolley. Mm. It was packed. A dude sagging. And was holding on to the pole, standing next to me, ass my way. And I just got ass all in my face. And I smell all that funk. I don't know if it was coming from his ass or his body or whatever, but I just, it was just like, I was like, oh my God, like, is he really standing, like, on the side of me with just his ass right in my face? Wow. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, bro, uh, can you, or I just got up. Stood the fuck up. It was so motherfucking packing in there. I didn't want to get up. I would never understood why you straight men do this, though. It, it just makes little to no sense. To me, but this is J Love 47, and this is Tony B. Peace, peace.